Hey Cancer, it is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the first half of January. This will be for Cancer, Sun Rising, also Venus. Before we have in Cancer, I just want to say Happy New Year. I hope you guys have a beautiful yet amazing 2020. Sending lots of love your way. I will be starting out with a um, love and relationships affirmator deck. I mean, oracle, sorry, message. So let's see what spirit has to say to you guys. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, do subscribe, cancer, hit that notification bell. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, you already know, fireintuition.com. I'm also doing a special that is listed in the description box below. All right, cancer, so let it be great, let's hop in. This will not resonate with all of you cancers out there. That is impossible. Do check your moon rising or Venus sign for additional messages, all right? So let's see. Spirit, what message do you have for cancer? Someone's eating vanilla ice cream right now, which is so odd. Um, it's not odd, but it's like, I don't know. Like as I was shuffling, I kept hearing vanilla ice cream or like someone's eating vanilla ice cream or something like that right now. All right, so we have wisdom that came out. Let's see what we got, Cancer. It says, with every relationship, I gain invaluable wisdom. With every relationship, I gain invaluable wisdom. And there's a banana on here, a banana book and a, okay, let's see what this is about. I'm continually, I'm continually learning which qualities stimulate, support, and inspire me. And which ones make me want to cram a soup spoon into my ear and turn it slowly. In that sense, even failed relationships are actually successes. See how wise I sound? So, okay. Okay, Cancer. So, what I'm getting with this, and these oracles are meant to be serious, funny, or both. And, Cancer, some of you guys aren't learning from your past relationships, okay? Or you weren't learning from your past relationships and you're just now realizing that or your current relationship or whatever situation you're in. And that's why it says, in a sense, even failed relationships are actually successes. See how wise I sound. And you guys are learning that. Some of you guys are staying in relationships that um, have failed or are failing and they're not of success and you're not happy and you're sacrificing your happiness to be with someone or to stay with someone and you're seeing that you're not really happy. Okay, I feel like the wisdom part is seeing like you guys know that you learn so much from this relationship, but why are you still in it? Why are you still involved? Why are you staying? And that's why it's saying even the failed relationships are actually successes because you did learn something from that, but you have to walk away to see what you have learned from the situation, what you have learned from the relationship, our relationships, our situations, whatever this is, family, friends, romantic, take out how it resonates. Okay, so it says how why, um, you know, it says so, um, see how wise I sound. And it's like you have it all together, you know what is right, but like, are you taking those actual steps? Is what I'm getting from this card, Cancer. Okay, so let's hop into the love portion. Let's see what this is about. And I feel like a lot of you guys are knowing that. You're like, why am I keeping myself in this place, this energy, this relationship? Why are cards flipped over already? Okay, so let's see what we got for you, Cancer. And that was the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in reverse, I believe. So let's see. Messages for Cancer. Some rising also Venus. First half of January. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer? First half of January. What does Cancer need to know? First half of January. All right, Cancer, let's hop straight into it. And let's see. So starting out, we have the Page of Wands reverse. We have Justice. It definitely resonates with your card. The Page of Wands is coming up in reverse, okay? It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's a commitment or relationship that you're in that you no longer want to be in with that Page of Wands reverse. Your heart is just not into it anymore. You're not into it anymore. Or that person's not into you anymore. Or their heart's not into it anymore. And with justice, if you guys are to walk away or leave that situation, you guys will balance out some type of karmic energy. You will balance the skills. Or you will finally get justice in a situation because you're not leaving yourself in a situation that you're no longer happy in. For some of you guys, it's like you guys are at the point where you're just like, do we have, you know, um, the same things in common anymore? 
like are we still feeling each other do we still want the same thing ten of wands came up in reverse it's time for you guys to let go say goodbye release the heavy burden at the bottom of the deck we have the king of swords reverse okay the king of swords reverse can be a manipulative energy king of swords reverse can be someone lying the king of swords reverse um could be like you holding back biting your tongue not really saying much not really saying how you feel we do have the three of wands it looks like some of you guys are really ready to move on move forward but you're just not taking action towards that or that's how someone is feeling towards you at this time cancer all right so let's definitely shuffle up and let's get um let's get these messages out let's see what's going on cancer let's definitely clarify and see i'm going to clarify the king of swords reverse that is the overall energy um for your reading so much came out let's see i'm not taking all those that was like 10 messages why is the king of swords in reverse for cancer what about the king of swords in reverse for cancer overall energy why is this king of swords in reverse for cancer the eight of cups you're lying about walking away from someone or this is someone trying to emotionally manipulate you into staying into a situation because they love you or this is you and you love them okay either way it goes take a heart resonate someone's trying to pull you back in or you're trying to pull someone back in and they're using love as a way to pull you back in oh i love you i know you love me it's something like that but and the eight of cups is like you're walking away you're looking for for more these eight cups on here they're filled but it's like that's what you're looking for you're looking for someone to fulfill you like to fill all those cups and more like you're whatever whoever you're dealing with is like there's a lack of emo like a lack of emotions are you are once in love with that person and you're not anymore are you still love that person but you're not in love with them anymore whatever it is it's like is this you're not happy anymore and you are faking as if you are or they are someone's faking as if they're happy and they're ready to walk away from this relationship let's see what we got with eight of cups yeah so the death card reverse but they don't want it to be over you guys can be dealing with a scorpio that's holding on to you okay this is a lot of um also a lot of emotional manipulation a lot of emotional baggage here someone knows how to get to you someone knows how to call you back in someone knows what to say as this king of swords reverse to bring you back towards them so someone is manipulating you into staying with them is what i'm getting all right so so far that's what we got let's do that this page of wands is coming up in reverse for you cancer why is this page of wands reverse for cancer Four of Pentacles reverse. Yeah. You want to break things off with someone or someone wants to break things off with you. This is a breakup. Someone's wanting to break things off for sure. And someone is having a hard time dealing with that or accepting that. Yeah. Once of justice. The Six of Wands. See, you'll get victory if you were to move on and, and move away from this person or walk away. This is you going towards something else. But it's like, it's going to take a lot in you, Cancer, a lot in them without Six of Wands with this energy here. Because it's like, you're not seeing that you're going to get justice in this. You're not seeing that. Some of you guys, you know, with these Eight of Cups, you're like, okay, well, I know this person loves me. Or that's how they're feeling. Like, oh, I know this person loves me. They're not going to walk away. They're not going to leave me. You're needing to really follow and trust your intuition um, at this time, Cancer. Okay? And the Six of Wands is looking towards the Ten of Wands reverse, so it's time for you to let go of this, you know? Why do you keep challenging yourself? The Ten of Wands reverse is like you're putting a lot of work into something. You're not seeing the results. Nothing's happening. You're just, it's like it's best to just release the burden than to hold on to it, than to stay in it, you know? Let's see why this Ten of Wands is coming up in reverse. The Two of Pentacles. See, that's what you're weighing up. Or the person you're dealing with. Someone is like, okay, like, I know this is not good for me. I know I shouldn't stay in this. Should I, should I stay? Should I go? Um, I don't want to hurt their feelings. I don't want to just walk away from them. You know, someone needs to stand their ground and speak up and express how they truly feel. Because it's like, it's not going to serve you any justice in the end. Justice is here, yeah, at six of wands. So like, for example, say cancer, if this is you and you're wanting to let go of someone and release yourself from this person and you're no longer in love with them, but you love them or you just feel like the relationship is over, but you're still holding on and you're not letting them go. It's like this person is eventually going to go towards justice in the six of wands and leave you. And then leave you in that energy. And then it's going to hurt you worse. So it's like, it's like I feel like for some of you guys, you're focused on how that other person is going to feel or how it's going to make them feel. And the message that I'm getting is it's about you and how you feel and what you want. Remember, the North and South Node are in Capricorn and Cancer. It's about you loving and nurturing and putting yourself first and not sacrificing your happiness for others. Standing your ground when it comes to your emotions and your feelings. 
focusing on your self-love and your self-care. Not losing yourself in relationships, friendships, romantic relationships. Okay, that's what this is all about. The Empress coming up in reverse is about you guys suppressing your emotions and feelings. And what I mean by that is the Empress sometimes when she's in reverse, it's like she doesn't want to say how she feels. She doesn't want to express her feelings because she doesn't want to make things worse than what they are. Or she wants to keep something together, a marriage, a relationship or something like that. But it's like she's really not happy in it. And she's not speaking up and she's not saying nothing about it. So she'll just sit in her feelings and emotions. Okay. Um, so yeah, you guys have someone that's trying to manipulate you guys into staying with them. Um, so let's see what else we got. Cancer, the strength card. Remember I told you it's going to take a lot of strength. Then I tell you that for you guys to walk away or for them to walk away. The strength card is here. Leo energy. Maybe you guys have Leo on your chart. Maybe you're cancer Leo cusp, but the, uh, the hermit is here. It's time for you guys to self-reflect and really go within and ask yourself, what do you want? Is this person really giving you what, what you want? Are you emotionally fulfilled by this person, this relationship, in this connection? Okay. Um, let's see. Going to the Six of Wands and Justice. Knight of Wands reverse. Okay. So things can get out of control, things can get ugly, that's what I'm saying, with this Knight of Wands reverse, or I feel like you guys fight or argue in this relationship, at times you guys get along, you're great, and with Justice and the Six of Wands, you think you're moving forward, but you're not, um, or you guys are moving forward, but then there's a lot of arguments, fights, or there's just the energy around you guys that's not so well, I mean, that's not so pleasant, and I feel like with this Knight of Wands coming up, it's like someone has already stepped out of the relationship or is stepping out of the relationship or will, because someone's not happy in this situation. Someone's not happy in this relationship, Cancer. Let's see why the Knight of Wands is swing up in reverse. Why the Knight of Wands swing up in reverse? The Seven of Cups. See, someone has their eye on someone else or someone is, you know, flirting or talking to someone else. Or like with the Seven of Cups, there's just a lot going on in this relationship. And someone is just, there. it's like a back and forth. It's causing the relationship to be back and forth, on and off, back and forth. Okay? So let's go into the Ten of Wands reverse and the Two of Pentacles that's coming up. The Two of Pentacles is about weighing things up practically. You know, like if I stay in this long term, what do I get out of this? If I continue to be with this person, where is this relationship going to go? Do I see myself being with this person in six months, nine months, the next year? Could we work this out? Could we fix it? Page of Cups reverse. For some of you guys, no. You guys can't. For others of you, it's like with the Page of Cups coming up in reverse, like someone could be obsessed with the other person and like, you know, um, not want them to leave. But they know it's too much. So this may be a situation, Cancer, where either you or your partner, like they know this relationship is toxic. They know that it's a lot of burdens. They know that it's been over, but they're except they're obsessed with the idea of staying with you or being with you. And they can't seem to let that go or that is like in their mind so heavy. So for example, like say if you guys were high school sweethearts or, you know, like this person has always wanted you, you always wanted them in the back of their mind, they're still high off of that. Okay. Which means like they're still, if you guys met 15 years ago, they're still high off of that energy when you guys met 15 years ago and, oh, this is the person I'm going to be with forever, have my kids with, raise my family with, all that. They're still in that energy. And it's like the energy has definitely shifted and changed. Nothing like that is happening in this relationship anymore. We can definitely see that. And someone's still holding on to that. And that's why the King of Swords is in reverse because they're trying to manipulate you into staying with them and they're still expecting that or that's what you're doing to someone cancer okay so let's see how this page of cups is swing up in reverse you guys can have a child with this person too our children see the lovers told you this person is obsessed with the idea of you guys being together staying together could be a gemini they feel like you're their other half they feel like you're their equal stuff like that with the six of pentacles okay but how i'm seeing it with just the six of pentacles three of wands someone is gonna someone is going to move on and or wants to move on and if they do they have a better future with someone like meaning like like if you were to walk away cancer things will be a lot better for you and someone this is about planning the future talking about the future moving forward six of pentacles is something that's balanced it's equal give and take the person feels the same as you you're not confused you're not being manipulated or you're not manipulating someone so yeah, because look, we have the emperor here and we have the five of pentacles reverse. Someone's trying to manipulate someone into staying. That energy doesn't say that, but with that king of swords reverse and this energy, it does. Five of pentacles, someone still wants to work on the relationship with this emperor here. 
someone doesn't want to let go of some type of commitment or relationship. So let's see what additional messages Spirit has for you, Cancer. Cancer. We have journey. Okay? So with the journey card number 10, I feel like something has ended between you and someone. We have a journey card. I feel like the time is up. You know, it was a journey. You guys were together. You guys been through what you've been through, but it's time to move on. You have a pathway. It's time for you guys to move on for some of you guys. It's time for someone new to come into the picture. It's time for something new. It's time for you to walk away. All right. Um, let's see what else we have for you, Cancer. We have Thief. Someone feels like someone stole their partner, okay? Because I kind of see here where someone is trying to move on or has moved on. And with the thief card, someone feels like someone has stole their partner. Oh, you stole my man. You stole my, you know, you stole um, my woman. You stole my wife. You stole my husband. Why is the thief card here? We have a mature woman. Six, balance. This is that new person coming in. Or this can be you, Cancer, a lot more mature Okay, you've grown over the years, you have grown this relationship. Okay, and I feel like with the thief here and the mature woman, it's like you are you're seeing what this person was taking from you or holding back from you. Meaning like you stayed in it maybe due to love, out of love, for the children, whatever, but you're walking away from that and you have matured and you have grown over the years, over the time, and you're allowing something better, something new to come in that is more balanced, um, stable. Um, it's healthier. You like this person. They like you. It's equal give and take. Okay. Um, let's see how the pathway is here. Yeah, the house. It's time for someone to move on. Maybe you guys have a house together. Maybe you guys live together. Okay, with the pathway in the house. Someone could be buying a house. Um, getting their own place finally. Maybe someone's looking for an apartment or a house to live in or to move into. And we have the main male. Okay. So, yeah, we have the main male on the journey. You guys are about to meet someone new. Okay. Let's go into the main male. Or this can be the person around you because we do have the emperor here. Why is the emperor here? I mean, sorry, why is the main male here? I said the emperor. Why is the main male here? I'm just going to pull one up the top as soon as I said that. So we have child and we have mature man. So we have the main male. So someone is committed, married, or in some type of relationship and they have a child with someone. And we have mature man. Someone is trying to be with this mature male, I mean woman, and move on with the six of pentacles, three of wands. Someone has outgrew a person, someone has outgrew the relationship, and they want someone else, or they want to be with someone else, or they're just ready for something else or someone else. Someone is holding someone back due to children, okay? Or like I said, this is some, you guys knew each other since you guys were children, and this was like, you know, you grew up with this person, you guys were together for forever, and now it's coming to an ending, or like the family room is here with coffin. Someone is scared to end it because of children or someone is using children against a relationship. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, because we have the emperor. We have the five of pentacles reverse. Someone is not wanting to let go. Yeah, they want to work this out rather than let go because we have the six of swords and we have the six of cups reverse. This is someone trying to move on from the past or leave a relationship. The six of cups reverse to the six of swords moving on, going towards a new relationship or someone new. Okay. But someone is just like, they don't want that. So they're trying to hold this person back or they're trying to manipulate someone into staying with them emotionally. Okay, so let's see what we got for you, um, Cancer. Um, I will be extending this reading as well. The messages for Cancer. We have votes. Look, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure. So someone is wanting to move on. Someone is um, ready for closure in a relationship. Someone feels like they have what they need or um, they see another relationship or situation progressing with someone else. We have um, the sword in rose. And it says clarity, truth, revelation, force, honor, protection, power. So someone is gaining clarity on this situation. Someone already knows what they want to do. So I feel like now, Cancer, you guys are coming out of an energy where like if this is your person trying to manipulate you and sustain, you're like, nope, I'm not doing it. You're like, this relationship is just bittersweet. I don't, damn, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm going to take the one at the top. You guys know I don't take cards off the ground. I don't even know what that was that failed. They're all flipped over. We have love call. 
someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So you're gonna let someone know how you feel, or someone let you know how they, or someone's gonna let you know how they feel. For some of you guys, this is a new love um, interest that's coming in, or this is new love that's coming in. Yep, because we have Cupid's arrow at the bottom. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation, invitation, or meeting. Okay, so you're about to meet someone, and you're gonna be surprised by the connection. You're gonna like, dang, wow, I like this person. They like me. Cupid's arrow, the love card. Let me put this down so you guys can see it. Okay. So that is what I do have for you, Cancer, first half of January. Um, so on the other side, I will um, do another spread. I'm going to look at the heart of the matter, their energy towards you, where their mind is at, their current feelings towards you, what they want from you, what is yet to unfold, and the potential outcome. All right. Um, at the end of the spread, I will um, look into Scorpio, Aries. Leo, yeah, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, and Gemini, all right, I'll pull some extra cards on those signs, all right, I love you much, Cancer, if you guys want to book, you already know, fireintuition.com, I hope to see you all on the other side, bye, Cancer.